Planning a wedding means creating a wonderful and memorable experience. From finding the perfect gown after trying on a few hundred first, to choosing which guests to invite. There are so many details that come together to create a one-of-a-kind day where all eyes are on the bride. That means you shouldn't skip the steps to make sure your makeup looks as stunning as your dress. Thanks so much, Jody, for coming in and joining us today. This is an exciting topic, but first, let's just start by talking about what is the difference between bridal and everyday makeup? So, I would say that there's really no true difference between everyday and bridal because it can be the same. However, on your wedding day, you want to be yourself, but the best version of yourself. And a lot of women wear that kind of makeup every day. So it really depends on what kind of a look you're going for um, when it comes to your wedding day. But um, glam, a little bit glam, more glam than what you would normally wear on an everyday basis, basically. What are some of the trends for 2018 bridal makeup? 2018 bridal would be a very, you can go a couple different ways. You can go very classic or you can go more glam. Um, I would say keeping the eye makeup very minimal and then doing like a natural glossy lip. Um, but there's really no trends, I would say, when it comes to makeup because every bride just wants to look like the best version of herself possible, which is the best way to go when it comes to your wedding day. You never want to go too crazy on the makeup. You mentioned a gloss. Now, yes. do you find it more that brides wear a gloss or a bright red lip or what do a lot of brides do when it comes to lips? That's a big, a bold statement is when it comes to lips. Sure, sure. And if you're a girl that would typically wear a red lip when you go out, like I said, you want to look like yourself. So if that's something that you would normally wear, then that is something you should do on your wedding day. However, um, when it comes to the ceremony, you're going to kiss your guy. And so <laughs> you never really want to train transfer, have the awkward ha wipe it off type of thing. So I always say wear something a little bit more matte and toned down um, as far as stickiness when it comes to the ceremony. And then you can glam it up for pictures and add a little bit of gloss. Um, and then you can even switch it up for the ceremony or for the uh, reception and go more bold. If I was a bride, I would go natural and pretty for the ceremony and then for the reception I would switch it up to like a bold color and then you know you walk into your reception <laughs> and it's a little more fun so yeah what yeah. are some of the biggest makeup mistakes brides make um I would say going too heavy on the eye makeup because in your photographs um you don't when you smile you don't want your eyes to disappear so going too heavy on the eye makeup is never a good thing um you never want to try anything new or go very trendy when it comes to makeup because you, you want to look like yourself. You don't want to go too far off from what you normally do. Um, you never want to skip your makeup trial. That is something that every girl should do as a trial run just to test out, you know, what, what you want to look like on your wedding day. And then... Um, you know, bring in photos of inspiration. Instagram and Pinterest are great options for looking up makeup photos. And, um, yeah, that's about it. You mentioned about the eyes, not going too dramatic with the eyes. Yes. So some brides might want to wear false eyelashes. Do you recommend that or not? I do highly recommend wearing a false lash. However, um, when it comes to the wedding day, you want to wear something not you don't want to wear uh, too heavy of a false lash you don't want to do the big black dramatic lashes um, I love the individual lashes for bridal because they give you the glam look without looking too overdone um, and we at bombshell offer those at no additional charge so um, yeah those are amazing for bridal and how about the shimmer Shimmer um, is great when done correctly. You always want to add a little bit of shimmer on the inner corner of the eyes that will help open up your eyes for photographs and in person. Um, and then if you're somebody who has a lot of texture on the tops of your cheekbones or acne, you never want to put too much highlight in those areas because all it does is enhance that. And, you know, you want to tone that down if you have it. So, so how can you make sure that your makeup is going to last all night? Um, definitely using a foundation that is water resistant in case you sweat, in case you cry. Um, touching up throughout the night is always a good idea regardless of a, a long wear foundation or not. Um, and then um, using a great setting spray can help lock it into place and just prevent it from moving throughout the day. I always tell my brides if you're very oily, carry oil blotting sheets in your makeup bag or your clutch. Um, and just gently blot in the areas where you get oily and don't be afraid to add a little bit of powder. 
I like the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder, which is really fine and it doesn't um, cake up when you're adding it throughout the day. So that's a good tip. If a bride were to invest in a couple new makeup items before their wedding, what mm -hmm. is one or two that you would suggest? I would say um, the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Powder because that is something you can stick in your clutch and have throughout the night to touch up with. She only makes it in three different colors, so it's very easy when it comes time to picking your shade, which can also be um, something kind of tricky for women trying to pick your right shade. Um, and then I would definitely recommend buying your lip shade. That way you have the, you know, it in the package to put in your clutch for the day of the wedding. Um, when you book Bombshell Beauty, the bride always gets a free touch-up kit for their lip product. Um, however, it's nice to have the original so you can just touch up throughout the night. So, How should a bride go about deciding on who she's going to use as her makeup artist? I would say pick somebody that aligns with what you like. Um, every makeup artist has their own style of makeup. Some are very classy and traditional classic makeup. Um, and then you have somebody like me who can do classic makeup. We can do natural makeup. We can do heavy, um, more glamorous makeup, more of the Instagram type makeup. Um, but find somebody that suits your style, you know? That's the best way to describe it, I guess. Use social media as an outlet. Um, go through their photos and go off of what you like. And lastly, I just want to ask if a bride is just very, very indecisive, because I know this is a big, important day. Where yes. can they go for some inspiration to get some ideas? Um, my Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, social media, Instagram, follow your, the best thing to do, pick a celebrity that you love their makeup, and then follow their makeup artist and get inspiration from them, because you already know you love that celebrity's makeup, and then, you know, go off of her photos and screenshot those pictures and show them to your makeup artist. All right. Well, thank you so yes. much, Jody, for joining us today. Yes, absolutely.